Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. I wanted to give you a bunch of protective hairstyles that were also really easy and really cute. Protective hairstyles are literally everything. Right now, throughout the whole of January, we are doing a hair growth challenge. If you guys haven't started it yet, then go over to my Instagram. There's a highlight there for the Lana Summer New Year Long Hair Challenge, and you can join that. Part of growing long hair or just growing your hair out is doing protective hairstyles and my favorite protective hairstyle is a bun because it is the easiest and cutest of all in my opinion and you don't have to manipulate your hair at all so it is actually a good protective hairstyle especially for the winter time i feel like i'm rambling so i'm gonna stop if you like this type of video then please thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications because it would mean a lot to me we are on the road to 400 000 subscribers tell me in the comment section which one of these buns hairstyles was your favorite and yeah let's get on with the hairstyles i'm gonna start with my hair going back and then i'm gonna take down some bangs so you just want to leave this part right here for a second if you want to you can also section off one side because we're about to put this side up and i'm bringing it quite high up and i'm just going to sweep everything up with an afro comb because i am about to do a whole bunch of them back to back so i'm not going to like slick it down too much let's bring up that i call these kind of like the back baby hairs yeah bring up the back baby hairs and i'm just going to tie that in place over here i'm going to do the same thing on this side as well And when I have them like this, I'm just going to take a few bobby pins and I'm going to turn these into buns. And I just do it by twisting it slightly and wrapping it around. And then when I get to the end, I just pin the end down to my head. You might be wondering why I chose this style when I do my space buns like this. And it's because you get the most control over how the bun turns out. And because you have two, you want them to match. And it's just easier to match them if you have more control. And you get more control when you do it with the bobby pins. You don't need no filters. You my rocket, you my perfect picture. Baby, you know I'm trying to kick it with A little bit around the edges. So I'm just taking a toothbrush for this part. Well, it's not a toothbrush, it's an edge brush. All right, and that is the first bun hairstyle. I'm obsessed with you, baby, I want you. Let them watch you, tell them. So I'm going to keep this side separate while I work on this side and it's going to be really simple i'm just going to do it low down i'm going to tie it right behind my ear kind of at the bottom you know and the hair ties that i'm using are by my brand hitchy hair so again i'm going to twist this into a bun when i have buns down here i like for them to be a lot more compact and a lot more kind of put together like when i have high up buns i love them to be fluffy and big but when i come down here i'm going to make them tighter so i'm just going to twist this a bit more before i start wrapping it around and then by doing that it means that the bun becomes more compact like that It protects my hair, it looks cute. It looks kind of like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Also a bit like Princess Leia, but I really like it. For these next few hairstyles, oh my gosh, why am I struggling? Why is this hard? Okay, I actually really need to cut this. This looks kind of ridiculous right now. Okay, just imagine that this isn't coming down past my collarbone. Just imagine that this is like at least like lip level or cheek level, okay? Just imagine, just imagine. It. So I am gonna sweep all of my hair to the top of my head. We were in a middle part a minute ago. My hair's probably thinking like, what the hell, Lana? We were in a middle part. We were doing what you asked us to and now you want us all to come together up on top? Like what? Yeah, my hair speaks to me. I'm gonna show you some different versions of top buns. And the first ones are gonna start off like this where we tie it at the top. So you can use any kind of satin hair tie for this. I always use satin. So I'm gonna tie it right here at the top. So this first one that I'm showing you, this is kind of my going out bun. 
And then once it's tied, now you can loosely twist it like twice. And now start wrapping it around. And if your hair's like mine, it will go around like a full turn. It's kind of like what we did on the previous two ones, but this is just one big giant one. And then I'm gonna pin it down right here. And the reason this is kind of my going out one is because this one looks so much more kind of done up. This one looks like I did something, you know, like this one looks neater and tidier and poofier. I gotta fix these back baby hairs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby hairs laid. Does anyone know the song? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Right, I'm gonna use edge control. Oh my gosh. I'm using edge control on my back baby hairs. Does anyone else ever do that? Well, I'm doing it right now because with this hairstyle, I like everything to look very neat and you can kind of shape it and you might have some parts that didn't really go in properly because they're just different lengths. Usually you can just make it work or you can pin it down. And that is my first going out bun. I hope you like it. I like my bun to be as big as my face, you see? Oh, you see those parallel lines? Oh, I told you that I loved you one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay, and if this one is an even more going out bun than before. Right now I'm gonna do a swoopty swoop. The way that I like to do my swoopty swoops is just to take more from one side. Okay. Look at this. So this is how I like to do my swoopy swoops. I just take one corner, one triangle from one side of my head and that's gonna be my whole swoopy swoop. I don't need nothing else. I'm just gonna clip that right here. I'm gonna take all my hair back up again because we're gonna do another bun. And we're gonna go up, 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 the up, all the way up. So I'm just trying to get rid of the bubbles. So when all the bubbles are out, I'm gonna take a another satin scrunchie And in my hair, these can go around sometimes three times, sometimes only twice. And now I'm gonna show you something that I learned from TikTok for this next bun <laughs> that's getting in my way. So I'm gonna take another satin scrunchie. And what this is gonna help me do is have a really tall bun. So I'm gonna wrap it around in a similar way to what I usually do, but maybe a bit messier and definitely just much taller, like that. Another bobby pin, and then I'm gonna pin that down. And then you wanna take the swoopty swoop and swoopty swoop the swoop. <laughs> so this is really easy, like once you have this part, you literally just do it. Just do it. Just do it. It fits perfectly. So I'm gonna bring that down to the back and then at the back, I'm just gonna pin it down a whole bunch of times, more bobby pins. So then my edges over here. I always like to do a really round one right here when I'm doing a big swoop. There's my big round swoop. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna put all of my hair back up again. We're not gonna have any kind of side swoop. Oh my gosh, there's a clip. Dun, dun, dun. Bobby pins are like cockroaches lurking in the shadows, turning up where you least expect them, and they will survive a nuclear war. Okay, so I'm tying my hair up high again. I'm just gonna separate my hair in two again. I'm gonna kind of do like a very loose two strand twist with this. If you guys know how to do it, that's great and if you don't know how to do it then there are tons of tutorials online twist everything by itself and then twist it around each other and then you end up with like this very stylized bun like it looks like something special was done to it i think i'll do some sideburns i like to just spray it a little bit because at the moment they're straight because they've got like edge control on them and stuff but we can just put those up a bit and then we can curl them Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they out like that? I'm just gonna put some edge control over all of this. My little widow's peak right there. So you see this one has started curling up already. So I'll just do that with this one. Oh yeah, it looks good. So 
So we're gonna bring back these pieces at the front. Remember just like this little triangle of hair, just about this much will be fine. And then we're literally just gonna bring everything back into a bun at the back of our head. For this one, you're gonna take all of your hair back and I'm actually using a slightly bigger scrunchie now. This one is just like a regular size scrunchie. And I'm just gonna tie that into a really basic bun. And tie that twice. and it's just kind of messy there's pieces hanging out and then I'm gonna take these parts and you will just kind of pin them up here and the rest of the hair is all swept back and then this one piece is gonna go kind of to the center like this and then just blend it in with the rest of the bun the rest of the hair is sort of pulling like this like up this one's coming down so it kind of crosses over and you see how that's kind of like the off-duty model kind of bun like slightly messy but very neat in the front and that's the look tell me in the comment section which one of these hairstyles was your favorite and yeah that is everything from me subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications get me on instagram for the blessings and the breakdowns because i put it all over there also you might want to have a look at my brand account for my hair accessories which is at hedgyhair.com also i did just buy a new home and i am working so hard to make my new home cozy and aesthetically pleasing and all of that good stuff so i will be posting a few home vlogs and i have a home instagram account because i'm just so geeking out on all of that stuff right now and i think that some of you might enjoy it so that's at the lana summer house and yeah peace bye hope you enjoy the buns